Hello budding artists and welcome to my next oil painting video. In this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing on from the last one where we looked at painting a tonal ball and we're going to paint a coloured ball. Now unfortunately this video does cut off right near the end and that's because my camera ran out of battery but I think it gets across the message that um, or the, the information that I thought was pertinent to this video and so I decided not to re record the end. Anyway, um, the thing that I need to talk to you about first up is because I mentioned it straight up when we get into the video is I start talking about titanium white and how it is a cool colour. Now I've apparently mentioned it in a previous video and I'm not 100% sure that I had done that so I thought I'd better let you know what I'm talking about just in case. So what I'm talking about is if I add titanium white into my warmer colours, so my reds and my, my um, oranges and my um, yellows, it will cool it, it's because, and that is because titanium white is a cool white. Now if I use a different white, say for example a Kremitz white, a lead white, this that is a warmer white and that will actually, it will still cool it slightly but it's warmer than titanium. So what happens is, well what I do in order to mitigate the cooling, cooling down of my um, warmer tone, my, my warmer colours, my warmer pigments, is I, instead of using white to lighten it, I will use yellow. And I can use any of the yellows that are on my palette. I can use a yellow ochre, I can use a lemon yellow, I can use um, a cadmium yellow, just as long as it's the one that I want. <laughs> and, and the one I want is determined of what um, how it affects the actual pigment itself. And you'll notice that when you start playing with it. But basically what you want to do is you want to grab a little bit of that warmer the yellow pigment, put it into your colour and you will still add white but it's that um, the warm of the yellow will mitigate the coolness of the white, of the titanium white. Anyway, let's go and have a look at that video and hopefully um, it, you get a lot out of it. See you later. What we're going to do in this one, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to draw a nice little circle just so you can see what I'm aiming for. A little shadow shape. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm actually going to create it in colour this time. So um, I could do I could do exactly the same thing where I picked up all those colours and painted it. You know, like I I have a bit of I've got a bit of white. Now, you remember how I was saying that colours get cooler when I add white into it? So that's that's the orange. Let's just put that there. That's orange, um, cadmium orange mixed with white. Let's take that same cadmium orange and mix it with yellow. Right. And then a little bit of white. I need a bit more yellow on my surface. Can you see how that's a bit warmer? It's still a little bit dark, but let's. At the same time. Can you see the difference between those two? This one is cooler and this one is warmer and that's what I'm talking about. That's why you use um, a yellow to create a warmer, a warmer surface, a warmer colour um, as opposed to just using straight white. I still used some white in it, but I mixed it with, I, I added this yellow into it to warm it up. And then create that. And I've done another sort of version. A bit too yellow now. But do you see what I'm saying? This is this is where you, um, understanding colour comes into this. Understanding um, your colours as well as um, understanding tone is going to help you because they're all the same tone but they're all totally different and I can't get my paper off there. Yeah. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a lovely um, coloured ball. So I'm going to, I'm going, I, want a, I want an orange ball. So I could start off with painting just plain orange in my straight out of the tube if I wanted to. Um, There's no rules, no rules, just... Or if I go, no I don't want, I want the, this, um, the actual orange itself to be uh, darker and, the, and I'm using the orange in this surface here, in the um, light. So this is, my, this is my light, I go 
if I look at that close to that, that's actually quite a light colour. I'm going to darken it, so I'm going to darken it by going around my colour circle. So your colour circle's here, and in that colour circle, you have, and that's my colour circle, I've got um, yellow one side, and then I've got blue, and I've got red, red. And mix those together, I get orange, mix those together, I get purple, mix those together, I get green. Now if I want to, I've got an orange here, if I want to darken an orange, I can go um, directly opposite, so my complementary, I can use blue and I can mix blue into it, or I can move myself around the colour circle by going and putting red into it and then adding its complementary to make it darker. So, we'll do that. Got my orange. Grab some red. I could actually use a lizard crimson. So I've got, see how that's darker already in tone? And then if I want, I can add, put a green into it. Um, I don't have green on my, my palette, so I'm just going to add a little bit of blue to make that a darker colour. And I'm going to put that down. My shadow shape. Oh, I need more. Okay, so that's my lovely shadow shape. Yep, you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to paint my light shape. I'm going to grab an orange straight out, and I'm going to actually just because basically, when a, when an object gets um, light on it, it is lit up straight away. So I'm just going to put this lovely orange onto here. Okay, that's how we started off with that. Now what I can do is I can soften those edges. So what's my next thing? I'm going to create my highlight. So again, I'm going to have my orange. I'm going to lighten it because I, I, would, I want it to be um, a lighter thing. So I'm going to go around this way this time. I'm going to get the yellow into it and add some yellow into that. I'm then going to add some white to create that highlight. This is my highlight, <clears throat> and I can remember my reflected light. So again, I've got my. I'm going to bring back a little bit more warmth into that because it's whatever's reflecting into it. So if this tabletop was green, I could put green in there. So if I go, okay, I want a green in there. So I grab um, some blue, make my green. As long as this color here is not as light as the light, I can put it in there. But it also has to be lighter than the, the, um, the shadow color. So that's a bit still pretty much the same tone. It's too light. So I'm just juggling, making, mixing it up. So as you can see, that video ended very abruptly and um, I did actually end up painting a little bit more and did the reflected light and all that stuff. But I think the main gist of it was just getting you to understand how 
colour works, how I move colour around, how to create three dimensional space um, on a two dimensional surface in colour, but it's always the tone. The tone is the most important thing that's happening and judging those tones against each other, especially when you're painting a light and shadow painting. So I will go into that, um, into colour and things more in further videos, but that's just it for now. I'm hoping it helped you and I look forward to seeing you next in the next video. Bye!